Welcome back to the channel. I think it's about time we had another project and this time we're going to tear into the WPO D42 110 scale RC minivan here. This thing is going to be cool and I've got some big plans for it and we're going to share all that with you. Some of it today. We're going to share some of it as it gets done but you guys are going to be along for every step of this project. Now let me give you a little background how I acquired this one. I've been eyeballing this D42 for quite a while now. And you guys follow the channel, you know I like my D-Series from WPO. I've got the D12, the D12 Mini, and just naturally I had to get the D42. Well, I wasn't quite ready to grab it yet until I walked into my local hobby shop last week. And I walk in there, and like, what the heck? You guys got D42s, you got D12s, there was MN90s, MN99s, like what the heck? Not used to seeing that in a hobby shop. Hadn't been to this particular hobby shop for a few years. They've got all your big name RCs as well that you're used to seeing, but man, ask the guy at the counter, what are you guys charging for the D42? He told me, I'm like, sold, take my money. Can't even pick that up for myself directly from WPL for what I got for it there. So shout out guys, if you're local to me, SN Hobbies in New Westminster, check them out. I'll leave a link down below to their website. They list all their prices so you can check the prices before you even head there. I had an awesome experience there and figured especially you guys who are local to me should know that and especially if you guys want to grab this for yourself it's there go get it give them your money well deserved awesome store so let's continue on here guys looking at the box well there's really not much i can understand on this box it's got some cool box art love it you can see 110 scale there 2.4 gigahertz other than that guys there's really not much else to look at that at least that i can translate to you but there it is anyways it's all right there very cool looking box guys, everything that was in that box is right in front of us on the bench here to have a look at we'll start with the manual here so luckily the manual is in english on this one so that we can understand haven't looked at it actually we got the chinese side right there and open it up to the other side is our english side looks like everything you need to know is here actually gives you the sticker layouts as well the positioning of the stickers that is cool and all the locations for the parts that are included the binding procedure for the transmitter and how to operate the rc as well and some troubleshooting right there so that's good guys nice and simple easy to understand everything you need to know is in there now we got a goodie bag here I've already cut it open, so let's open it up here, see what we got. We got some double-sided tape. Looks like an extra leaf spring, possibly. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, I guess it is. That's cool that we got that, some extra parts. Got some little mirror stickers there. Got a little top uh, taxi uh, sign for the top there. We won't be using that. Maybe we'll list that on eBay. Anybody wants to buy this, let me know. Super cheap. <laughs> Ah, uh, we got a little uh, drive shaft uh, end there. So it's nice, I'm seeing some extra parts, a little tie rod end. So very nice, I like seeing those extra little parts there because I'm not necessarily, uh, at least yet, gonna upgrade any of the stock parts below the body. So that is good that we got some little extras there to keep it going if something were to break. And we actually got another little uh, linkage end there, right there. Mini screwdriver. There's your battery charger, guys. So it looks like we got a two cell battery at this one. Charger is rated 7.4 volt. That end plugs into a standard USB outlet. The other end will plug into, looks like to be a balance lead on the battery. We'll look at the battery here once we find it. And all your little accessories from grill. You got some wipers there, some door handles, and a few other things. Looks like we got a license plate uh, bracket as well. Cool, all those will be going on the RC. A little set of WPL stickers. And here's your main set of uh, body stickers there. I like what I'm seeing here. We've got some gauges, some you know, some interior stickers. That's really nice. Not sure how much of the exterior stickers I'm going to be using. We may use the silver ones, which look like they're for the slide out for the sliding door on the side there. Other than that, the majority of the stickers will probably not make it on this RC, but hey, they'll make it on something eventually. 
All right, throw that aside. Let's look at the transmitter, your standard WPL transmitter. I like this one, the rubber coated one. It's not that cheap, cheap plastic one that we've seen with other models. You got a rubber coated wheel on there, simple to use, feels nice in the hand, fits an adult perfectly and small enough for a kid to use without any issues as well. You got your on off switch right there, throttle rate button, steering rate button right there. And if you've got your steering trim dial right there, it does take two AA batteries to power this one up guys. And it powers up with your on off switch right there and you can see the blue LED indicator light. All right. Well, let's clean up this stuff and let's get the D42 in here. really like what I'm seeing. Very clean looking RC, nice body lines. This one should be a fun one to tear into and customize. And that's, for me, that's most of the fun with these uh, D-Series RCs, the D-Series lineup from WPL, is the customizing of them, making it your own. We did it to the D12, guys. Bunch of customized 3D printed parts, upgraded motor, upgraded electronics, upgraded a drive shaft, rear axle. This one was a fun one to run, and it's not the last time you'll see this one on the channel. We'll have it out again. Won't be too long, I'm sure. We followed that project up with the D12 Mini here. Again, we tried to make it look like it's uh, its bigger brother there. We did the body kit. We did uh, some customized uh, 3D printed uh, drift wheels that I designed there, and some other accessories, and we also upgraded electronics. Again, this is another fun one to do. So naturally, we had to get the D42 out here, and we're gonna do the same thing. It's not going to be anything like the D12s, different colors we're going to use, we're going to do, I've got different wheels I actually just finished, we'll show you those in a few minutes. I got ahead of myself a bit there, well not really, I tried to get ahead of the project a bit. We've got the wheels printed, ready to go, ready to paint, we'll show you those in a minute. As well as what I'm thinking for color combinations. But before we tear into all that, before we get to any of that, we're going to have a look at what this looks like stock here. We've showed you everything that was included with it, all the accessories. The transmitter now let's just have a closer look at what the rc is all about here so i like the little black detail here on the windows we're going to be tinting all these windows so we're going to be fully tinted all the way around the four side windows the back window we'll probably do a visor tint on the front window there so those will be all tinted but it's nice that they've got this little black detail and i believe that is part of the glass I believe or the plastic there so that'll stay on there we won't have to uh, have to try to paint that back in or lose that uh, outline detail very nice another thing I'm gonna do is you can see we got the clear marker lens there we've got clear tail lights and we've also got the marker lights up front here none of those are gonna get any of the stickers on them we're gonna actually the clear lights we're gonna use what I used on the the D12 there we're gonna use a rubberized uh, tint for headlights and we're gonna tint out those uh, clear lights to uh, darken them up a little bit. And then eventually we're gonna wire up a custom LED kit like I did with the other two. And we'll have some uh, LEDs, we'll have some LED tail lights, we'll have some LED marker lights, possibly the little marker lights on the door there, but most likely not those. They're pretty small and that would take a little bit of uh, little bit of figuring out to do and really I'm really not into having a light there but definitely for the the tail lights there brake lights and the marker lights up front we'll be throwing some LEDs in those now the wheels they're exact same wheels that came with the D12 like I said those are gonna be uh, those are gonna be coming off guys they're probably not even gonna get run with those wheels on it because I literally just finished designing and printing a full set of wheels along with the drift tires here. And those are hot off the printer, ready to go. We're going to be painting these up and then we'll mount the, the wheels there. And our te first test run is going to be a drift run with the D42 here. Once we're done with the, at least the majority, at least the body, some of the accessories, get the wheels on there and we'll take it out for, uh, for a run, probably at the skate park and do some drifting with it. So. That's the first upgrade there, guys. We'll be uh, dropping these files on Thingiverse for you. Links will be down below in the description if you want to do that for yourself. These will also fit on the D12. Now, these ones were uh, upsized from the ones I designed for the D12 Mini. So, I really like the look of the five-spoke uh, wheels. I just think it's really clean looking and suits these types of... Uh, these types of little drift vehicles. None of these doors open, I believe. That's unfortunate. It would have been cool if this door would actually slide and be open. 
you never know. We mm-hmm. might just uh, hack into it and make ourselves a functioning uh, door on the side. I think that would be pretty cool. What I'm seeing on the inside here, guys, I actually like the look. And I know some guys, especially with the the D12, they made their own uh, custom seats, but I really like the look of these black uh, seats that are in this one. You can see there we've got dual bench seats in the back. That's that's pretty cool. I like I like the look of that. And the fact that we've got those interior uh, stickers for the dash, for the gauges and stuff that are going to go in there, that is cool. That just, uh, that'll finish it off really nicely, quite nice actually, inside. Let's flip it over. So, on the bottom side here, plastic drive shaft. I'm not going to pull it open. I'm assuming we've got plastic gears here, but I'm not 100% sure. We may do a teardown video as I'm taking this apart so you guys can... Uh, have a closer look at some of that stuff um, now one thing the steering is a little bit different on this one so we're actually going to get a sharper uh, radius turning radius than the d12 the d12 stock only turns about uh, roughly that much and we got that much more so that's very impressive i'm actually uh, excited to get this one out and drift with it with that steering angle that should be that should be some fun there I believe we've got a 260 brush motor, our on off switch right there. This is fully proportional by the way. And we're getting a little bit of detail here as well guys. Got a little bit of an exhaust there. We're not gonna be painting up the underside of this chassis quite yet, but you never know. We might uh, just do that one day. I like this. This is where the spare tire on the D12 was, was down here. We got a nice lever here to uh, access the battery. I like that, I'm not sure. Uh, probably eventually not yet but we'll be updating uh, the electronics on this one I won't be using that battery tray at that point we'll figure out another way to mount a larger battery in we are uh, getting a lithium-ion battery this one 500 milliamp hour and this one is obviously a two cell 7.4 volt as I showed you uh, earlier that's where your charger plugs into that balance plug there and this uh, plug here is the plug that you would match up with the plug inside here to power it up. So I'm gonna make sure that's turned off, which it is, I'm gonna plug it in right now and we will fire this one up at the bench, guys. All right, guys, well, what do you say? Flipping on there, we should see the headlights. There we go, headlights are blinking. Turn on the transmitter. And I believe to pair this one, you're just gonna turn the wheel. There we go, it is paired, ready to go. So it does have brakes, that's kind of cool. And fully proportional, guys. Very cool. Well, guys, that's it for our first look at the D42 here now. Let's power it off. Let me put it back here and let me just pull in. I just want to review. So you guys have already seen the wheels we're putting on it. Those wheels are going to get painted up. We're going to... As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to tear into this one. We're going to start uh, taking it apart, prepping it for paint. And we've got two colors here that we're going to use. Now, these ones are, uh, like I said, I picked these up at the Surplus store. They were there. haven't seen them since. But we've got these Testers Extreme Lacquer Paint Primer Sealer All-in-One. So we've got two colors here. This is White Lightning. And this one's Fiery Orange. So... These two colors are going to be what I'm using on this. We're going to be going with a two-tone paint job on this one. So I haven't quite decided how that's going to work out yet, but uh, you will see the white lightning paint there, and you're going to see the fiery orange as well. And combined, they're going to be what I'm using on the D42 here, guys. So paint job, drift wheels. We're going to tint it out, all the windows, and... I may, I may, I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how it looks once we get the wheels on there. I may design a body kit for this one. I haven't 100% decided on that. I wanna see how it looks first. But you guys, like I said, follow the community posts. We'll do some YouTube short videos as well. Uh, just keep up on it. Check it every few days, guys. See if there's anything new on there. Hit that notification bell and you're not going to miss out. This is going to be a fun one, guys, and I'm uh, I'm excited to share it with All you right. guys. Well, we're going to get ready to wrap this one up. You want to grab one of these D42s for yourself. 
Like always, check out the link down below in the description. I'm going to post the best deal I can find for you guys so you don't have to search around for it. For right now, guys, that's it. Like this video. Make sure you hit a big thumbs up. New to the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.